You are looking at video and pictures released late Tuesday afternoon by Florida's Division of Emergency Management. The images show some of the migrants who the state claims volunteered to be transported and, quote, wanted to go to California. We blurred the video because we don't know the circumstances that brought each person here, but some are seen waving, smiling, expressing thanks. Thank you for my room. After days of silence, Florida finally claimed responsibility for two private flights that since Friday, have flown roughly three dozen asylum-seeking migrants from New Mexico to Sacramento as part of Florida's controversial migrant relocation program. If there's a policy to have an open border, then I think the sanctuary jurisdiction should be the ones that have to bear that. During a law enforcement roundtable discussion on illegal immigration in Arizona Wednesday, the governor for the first time answered questions about the flights. If a sheriff asked for our support in Texas, we view this as an American problem. We don't view it just as a Texas problem, and we think we're all in this together. We will send resources to help. It's a silly, cruel, inhumane, disgusting political stunt. Not one of these migrants is from Florida. The surprise landing sparked outrage among California politicians, including its attorney general, who's now investigating for potential civil or criminal wrongdoing. He says some migrants implied they may have been lured into signing consent forms through false promises of jobs. Lawyers for civil rights, a legal advocacy group suing the governor over last year's migrant flights to Martha's Vineyard, are also investigating Florida's voluntary claims. We know that Florida officials same, said the same thing about the Martha's Vineyard flights, and that turned out to be completely false. But Florida is pushing back in its only email taking responsibility for the flights. An emergency management spokesperson wrote, the relocation of those illegally crossing the United States border is not new. But suddenly, when Florida sends illegal aliens to a sanctuary city, it's false imprisonment and kidnapping, adding the group of migrants were accompanied by a contractor, which California's AG has described as Vertol Systems, the same Florida-based aviation group hired by the state last year to fly nearly 50 migrants from Texas to Martha's Vineyard. In this newly signed state contract for similar services, Vertol even cites its more than $1 million Martha's Vineyard operation as part of its listed experience. The contract, which ends in two years, lists Vertol's scope of work as planning, arranging, and executing all parts of transporting migrants to other parts of the U.S. But the only listed price tag, stage one development phase at a lump sum of $487,000. This session, Florida's GOP majority approved a total of $12 million to relocate migrants. Individuals, they say, who volunteer and consent before they go. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.